This is a late evening tropical weather update from 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app on this Sunday, June 3rd. There still really isn't a whole lot to speak of in the tropics. We see that there's a lot of convection, but it's primarily centered over the inland areas of Central America. And as we switch over to the water vapor imagery, we can see that there's a well-defined trough over much of the West Atlantic, and there's nothing but a lot of dry air and wind shear associated with that system. And any favorable pockets in terms of upper-level winds are once again located out across over Central America with no development anticipated over the next several days. As we work our way westward into the eastern Pacific, there is a little bit of convection, but it's mainly associated with the intertropical convergence zone, and there's a lot of dry air surrounding this convection. Furthermore, none of the model guidance is doing much of anything out in the eastern Pacific over the next five to seven days. Now in yesterday's video we pointed out that the ECMWF model was developing a subtropical storm off the US East Coast in the 5-7 to seven day range. However, the latest run from the European has backed off substantially and as we go into day 6 you can still see an organizing area of low pressure well off the East Coast but it's now a lot weaker than what we saw in previous runs and as we go into day 7 the storm is really not tropical in nature and moving safely out to sea with no development really anticipated and as you can see the Gulf Caribbean and remainder of the West Atlantic is forecast to remain calm. So in summary it looks as though we will be in an unfavorable pattern for any additional tropical development over the next week or so but looking ahead we see that the sea surface temperature anomaly pattern across much of the Atlantic is near average to slightly above average and as we look into the eastern Pacific we do have a developing El Nino however there is some question as to when this El Nino will be fully in place there is a chance it could hold off until once hurricane season has come to a conclusion which would allow for the seasonal numbers to finish average or above average but one thing that we can look into over the next few weeks is just how much the Atlantic Basin may warm this is a graphic showing the North Atlantic Oscillation and in short, once the NAO becomes more negative, we usually see a rebound in Atlantic water temperatures, meaning a slight warming. And as we can see here, the GFS ensembles are forecasting the NAO to tank quite a lot here during the middle half of June. So we could see a rebound in those water temperatures, and that'll be something we'll be looking for as we go into the middle and second half of the month. So that is all for now from us here at 28storms.com and Hurricane Tracker app. Keep it tuned to the video updates for the remainder of the season as they will go a lot more in depth once the season really starts to kick into gear.